So, it's the day after those branches fell, and, um, I kind of look like crap. And that's because I just got done helping move a lot of those to the road, and, um, I am covered in crap right now. And I smell like tree sap, like pine. My hands, despite having washed them two, three times, still have a bit of stick to them from those branches. So, um, yeah. There's still more work to do eventually. But, um, with snow on the ground, we're not going to bother with the smaller branches. Just no. So, yeah. Branches Saga Part 2. <laughs> so, a weird angle, but I got something in the mail. And, gotta be careful. Ooh, all you can see is that one. Let's see, somewhere in here. So pretty. Okay, give me a minute to get the stuff. The the paper stuff. Okay, now we can look at it. We've got a skirt. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. It's a little bat. And moon and stars. It's from Hot Topic. Ooh. And it's a suspender one. I'll try to see if I can get a clip with it on in a bit. And I got me a beanie because it was on sale. And I've never had a plain black beanie, so I'm gonna. See what this looks like on. So, excuse the wind. I did my makeup for this portion. The eyes are mainly no Emily Noel's The Once palette, but this part's a mix of Belvira Vi Violet with um, a Wet n Wild shadow, which I'll pop up on screen right now because I couldn't get to apply quite right but I don't blame the shadow I've had it a while and um, the lips are a color from Colourpop I used them because I used Capricorn and Family in the crease and it kinda goes and I think I think it's kinda cute I think it's kind of cute, guys. So we're going to see how... Uh, this is the first time I've worn a beanie. Well, maybe not the first. But one that's not like just a winter beanie. So, let's see. Okay, it looks kind of stupid that way. Let's... Who knows, maybe I'm not... One of the blessed ones look good in beanie. Do I look good in beanie? With my little hair going woo, woo. Just kind of yes, yes, cute. Tank top straps trying to escape. Yeah, yeah. I think the bangs are the only reason it looks kind of cute. So, I apologize in advance, there is not very much room in my room to do something like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, the hat, it's pretty good. The skirt has these suspenders. They're loose on me. They're probably very suited for someone with a bigger chest. But they're removable, but I don't want to remove them right now. Here's the skirt in all 
Oh, it's Batty Glory. It is cute. I love it. Just that. Okay. I feel so cute. So cute. Very, very cute and wonderful and just batty. Yes. Yes. I love it. Nor the beanie hair. It's it's a bit of something, but we'll work with it. I got distracted, feeling all cute, and I forgot to talk about the skirt. So I got it from Hot Topic. Probably not the best place, but I know their sizing and I've never ordered anything online, so I figured this would be my first one because I'd been eyeing it. So uh we'll start with these straps. They're decently thick, and there's no stretch to them. They're very long. There's a lot of fabric here, and it's probably for allowance for those with bigger chests or even bigger, um, broader shoulders. Which, I don't really have very broad shoulders, I don't think. I could be wrong. They're just what I have. But, um, there's a lot extra fabric. You can probably just fix that yourself if you really want to. But you can also take these off. They're attached with little black buttons to the skirt. The skirt... It's very stretchy. The waistband's very stretchy. The material, very, very stretchy. It reminds me kind of like a t-shirt that probably sounds bad, but it's kind of, it makes me think of cotton. I don't know off the top of my head if it is cotton, so um, I edited Keisha. You can put what it's made of up on screen, but it's very comfortable. True to size, I picked a size 3 because that's a 22, 24, and it fits comfortably. So, yeah. And I don't know if there's much to say about the beanie. It's nice. But it's a beanie. Beanies are beanies. Unless they're like itchy material and that one's not itchy. It's comfy. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And here's a look at the branches now. These are small ones. The big ones are down by the road right now. So, yeah. Gotta wait until the snow gone to get most of these. She found the box. What you doing? Are you gonna lay down? If I fit, I sit. So it's been a while since I've done a plant update. Um, I've gotten some, well, one little grow light to help them uh, not do this quite as much. And 
we have the tomatoes sprouting up, a lot of spinach, the marigolds. I picked some out of the niner. There's still a ton in there, but it's not quite as many. We have the second kind of poppies finally popping up. And yeah, I also got my butterflies. And come on, are you gonna get stuck? We have four different colors. The one I picked up is green, yellow, and orange. The one I'm trying to pick up now is blue and purple. This one's yellow and red. And then red and blue, they're so pretty. And yeah, that's the plant update for now. Guess who I got this morning? I've got the old lady. She came to visit me. So, I'm doing something that's probably kind of stupid and rearranging my room. And I turn around and I see, I see this. In the middle of the chaos. Just that. So, I've been busy all day cleaning, but it doesn't look like it. It's crazy. Because I moved a bunch of stuff from over there. Over here, I like this a lot better than before. Well, kinda. I like having this all set up right here. And I like the way my bed is now. But I miss having that over here. But I also kinda don't. But well, it worked with how I have the bed now. And I like the bed the way it is. And like, I'm still figuring stuff out over there and it's just chaos and this little bean has thought she's been helping she's been very involved getting into trouble <laughs> oh there's still so much to do i walk in and i find this cat your dirty paw your paws have been on the dirty toilet I need to show you what I'm looking at. Just. Is this your fault? Is this your doing? Oh my god. Future Keisha here. I did get fixed the best I can, but that spot up there is a soft spot. So it is something, hello, that management will have to take care of eventually. Because, um, look at that. Look at that nonsense. That shouldn't be happening. That was not my fault. Just no. What is that? What? Eh. Eh. What? 
Hardy? Hardy. Hardy, you're gonna knock something over. Get down from there. Get down from there. He doesn't listen. Do I need to get up here? Do I need to get up? Yeah, yeah, you better run. And we have a baby in a window. I brought him into the bathroom and put him in one of the taller ones so he could have some window time. Since I accidentally took his favorite spot. Oh. There we go. Excuse the mess in the background. I'm still working on my room, but um, I wanted to do a little clip because uh, my hair is looking actually kind of cute. It looks cuter in person, but um, that's because uh, I picked up some tips from Sierra Schultz. I think it's her name. It'll pop up on screen in case I am missing it. But, um, she posted some curly hair videos, and while I don't have very curly hair, she did have some things that I was like, actually, that sounds really useful. The biggest one is when I'm doing conditioner or a hair mask, make sure all of the hair is wet, not just the surface, like, get in there, get it all wet, and then put the conditioner in, or the hair mask, and do, I think she called it noodling or canoodling and you'll grab a piece and go like this and make sure like it gets in there you do that throughout your hair to make sure each piece is nice and done she does in the back thicker bits but I have thinner hair due to picos so I can do thinner bits around pretty fast and um, then she also combs her hair in the shower I do that with the conditioner on I try and start from here up but I don't really get as many knots as I used to when my hair was a lot thicker so uh, I just comb it while the conditioner is still in and then I'll leave it in for a while while I do the rest of the shower. Then rinse it out and I'll either come in and put some spray conditioner on or I'll just kind of go like this and try to scrunch up my hair to encourage the hair flippies to become little curls so it actually looks nice instead of having those little dogs. And um, I wish I had figured that out sooner because then I wouldn't have had to deal with the hair flippy phase. But okay. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's kind of cute. I'm not really doing the rest of the curly girl method because, um, well, I need to get through my stuff first, but uh, it does sound like it'd be good to look into, even though I don't have, like, the really, uh, the springy curls, I don't know what you call them. There's different curl types, but mine's more like wavy, curly, like it tries. <laughs> but yeah, um. Feeling, feeling kind of cute with the hair today, so when, oh, this clip's way too long, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi.
your nose tickles. <laughs> She's so smug about that one, jeez. Hi guys, ignore the shower hair and ignore any cleavage you may be seeing, but my order from Torrid has officially come in, and it's only one thing, but um, I freaking love it. It's a rainbow top in celebration of me being in the community, the LGBT community. Um, I don't get to find rainbow things very often, so finding this cute casual rainbow stripey shirt was super exciting for me. It's nice and loose, it's very stretchy, covers the belly covers the butt, but that might be because I am short. So it would be good for leggings when I need to wear those again. I can also tuck in with like skirts and um, this always looks better on other people, but you can like tuck in right here and have me go down. Looks kind of cute. Cropped. Two. You can tie up and smell, but it doesn't look that cute with this pattern. But that may be because it disrupts the stripes. Watch me say that and make myself a fool. But, um, yeah, it's cute. It's comfy. I am glad I did get on sale though because I don't know if I'd want to pay 32 bucks for a t-shirt, but that's because I'm not made of money. <laughs> but um, it's cute, very soft, and uh, I do like it. I also have to say like, why would they charge? Forty-one bucks for you poor Canadians! My goodness. Like, I saw that and it's like, who would pay that much for a t-shirt? Some people would. I guess maybe I'm just used to not paying that much for a t-shirt. That's like, what? I don't have that kind of money to spend on a t-shirt. <laughs> Unless it lasts forever.
Yeah. Twenty one bucks. You poor Canadians. So I apologize for the crime of fashion that I have put on your screen. But um April third, I was really excited. I found my shirt and I was looking at a pair of shorts that had like rainbow trim and a rainbow heart on the butt um but then I saw I saw this skirt and I'm like how about instead of like a rainbow shirt and rainbow shorts I I'm sorry I do a lilac bat constellation skirt rainbow combo a combination of my spooky loving self with my rainbow chaotic self. Here it is. Is it a look? Is it a look? It, it's certainly something. <laughs> it's certainly something. <laughs> oh. Me to follow my butt to show you guys the look. Yes. So cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm done now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. is horrible but at least it kind of hides the fact that I'm low-key looking like a panda so um, the vlog has gotten kind of long and it is officially the end of the month and normally um, by the time I'm filming this uh, the vlog would be up today but uh guess you didn't film the outro until just now <laughs> me so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.